So let's get to it. Plenty of deals already done today. So let's get to the Saints deal. They traded Marshawn Lattimore. Once you complete thoughts, uh, the commanders get him for a third, a fourth, and a sixth round selection. Uh, he is going to be there for a couple years. So it's not just this year. So your You're thoughts. in your Super Bowl window. You know Jaden Daniels is real. You know you got two to three years before you got to pay this cat. Yeah, you need a lead corner. I don't have a problem with it. If they like him, if Dan Quinn believes he fits their scheme, obviously a defensive head coach weighs heavy on that move. I like it. Yeah. Um, you know, you got to spend the money somewhere, right? So I'm fine with it. I think it's a nice move, and uh, I hate every NFC East team because all they do is beat my team. <laughs> yeah, as far as the commanders go, it's what we talk about with the Lions. You you don't mind spending if you're going to get a piece of the puzzle that's going to be there for a long term. So, yeah, it, it was a good move. I I was a little shocked, but, you know, the fact that, yeah, I guess the commanders realized – we're a lot further along than we really thought we were Why? going to be. Because they got the quarterback, which yeah. brings me to the point. David, a question. If you called your Uncle Gilbert, how much for a prayer? Like a real one. Not mass. happening. It's not happening. Well, I mean, Dion Warwick's old prayers. Are, Why can't you? We are not Dion Warwick. I need you to pray Warwick. the Giants lose to the Panthers Sunday so we can get a quarterback. And I, too, can participate in this sport everyone loves known as football. How much for you to pray for the Carolina Panthers? Can you do that for me? What's wish the AV room at the church need? Oh, wish I could, man. Greater life NIL package. Right. No, Consider it name, no. image, and, and likeness. N -I Does your uncle no. need new bow ties? <laughs> no. NIP package. Name, image, and prayer I will package. Ha I, will, I will have a suit <laughs> made for Uncle Gilbert if you pray for the – I need you to pray for the Giants' demise. Michael, you only have to buy this bow tie, right. but it's going to cost you fifty grand. All right, we can move on. But, David, think about a number. Think about a financial number for greater life. I need legitimate prayer, not those con artist beads and holy water that's not holy water that used to get sent out to poor old people who paid for prayers. I mean, a real one. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the Steelers for a second. They made a couple moves here. They have traded for a fifth-round pick for Mike Williams to the New York Jets. They just traded a seventh-round selection to the Green Bay Packers for Preston Smith. They are 6-2 and two coming out of the bye week. Are they a legit threat now with these two additions? No. I didn't think so. But I don't know. You wanted to ensure you made the playoffs. You shored up. You gave yourself another body on offense. Mm -hmm. And Preston Smith, if he's got anything left in the tank, you need him. I mean, let's face it. You're not as deep up front as you think you are. And Highsmith's always hurt. The kid who backed him up got hurt. And T.J. Watt's only one human. So I'm good with the moves. And David, you know what it is in Pittsburgh. You want to keep that playoff streak. You want to keep rolling. You're six and two. What did you really give up? Nothing. 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 Yeah. And I mean, really, you're competing with the Ravens. So, yeah, I, I like the moves for your still. You're not happy about it, but I think you guys did pretty good today. I'm about winning Super Bowls, and this doesn't get you to that. But it's what they had, what they could do at the deadline. It's so amazing. it is what it is. You know, I'm sitting here, and my team is one step from drowning in a bathtub. And I got to listen to a guy who's six and two Bruh, upset. I, my, my team is all in the hospital. So, yeah. That's all. I just want a Super Bowl. I'm um, about to dress up as a clown to go visit everybody. Can you all explain <laughs> to me? Oh, wow. Explain to me what Dallas is doing here. I can't. So, Next on one question. end, they place Dak Prescott on the IR. Then, on the other side, they give up a fourth round selection. To the, to the Panthers for Jonathan Mingo, who, according to these stats here, are among 72 wide receivers with at least 50 receptions since the start of the season. He's last in receiving yards, second to last in yards per route, and last in catch rate. Mind you, the Chiefs got Hopkins for a fifth round selection. Yeah, look, it's, it's a ridiculous comp. It's a ridiculous payment for a player who – has failed since day one as a second-round pick in Carolina. I know the quarterback play has been questionable, but he's made no impact. I mean, Xavier, Xavier Leggett is above him. Adam Thielen is above him. Deontay Johnson was brought in above him. I Someone needs to do a wellness check on Jerry. Yeah, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah, no Dak for a couple of weeks. If anything, I, I actually thought that they would try to maybe, you know what, let's just power this down. We have a built-in excuse. We're already hitting the losing streak, and Dak's going to be gone. Let's just try and focus on next year, since we're already paying these guys anyway. But to double down, it's like... And a fourth-round pick's no joke. 
I mean, that's a starter. Yeah. For Jonathan Mingo. Okay. I don't know what to say. Or why not just wait and draft your own who's actually better than them next year? But, yeah, like you're pushing your chips into the middle of the table, and it's like, Jerry, the game's over. Right. I, okay, we all went home. There's nobody there. So I wanted to bring this up because Detroit, yes, you're not the only one that may have problems with young players. The Cincinnati Bengals are dealing with a young rookie wide receiver, Jermaine Burton, who uh, missed the walkthrough on Saturday. So he missed the game because they suspended him, basically saying you're not going to play. And then there is a picture out here where he was at the casino during the game. Instead of being at home, taking the punishment, he's out at the casino. What is wrong with these young guys sometimes? Gee. Rico, do you want to go first? <laughs> you know what I think it is, David? And, and you know what? I I don't think they love the game. I think that this is just a job to them, and they're treating it like that. They're not treating it as something that can basically shore up their future if they take it seriously, that they're the 1% who actually made it to the league. It's just a joke for them. They, they, they might as well be working at, at, at some box store or wherever. Or some supermarket. In their mind period, you're not going to tell me what to do. I'm this person. Actually, we are. Because we're going to hold back your game checks. The other problem, you know, he's been frustrated with his role. Dude, who do you think you're playing over? You think you're playing over Jamar Chase? You think you're playing over T. Higgins? Like, who, who do you think you should be playing over? Yosivash, the kid they got from Princeton, all that kid has done is show up to work, learn the entire playbook in 10 minutes, and he produces. Who are you supposed to be playing over, son? I just, honestly, I have a different take than Rico. It doesn't make it right. We just have a different opinion. I actually just think the world's filled with really stupid people that are also petulant children. Welcome to Gen Z. Here we are. Oh, my God. I need a coping mechanism. I just watched a violent movie. I mean, that, I mean that, see, I don't, I don't want to paint ridiculous. an entire generation that way, but I do, I do. think that a, a lot of these players... Their goal was to make the league, not to play in the league, not to become a Hall of Famer I give an in example. the league. I just read in one of the New York papers, Georgetown, Hoyas, mm -hmm. Georgetown, has set up uh, 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 trigger suites for their students today in case they hear political beliefs that they can't handle, complete with milk, cookies, and nap time. At a school you're spending $68,000 a year to go to. You can't handle someone... These are supposedly the future leader. Like, you you graduate from Georgetown. That means something. Jermaine Burton, that's his generation, right? <clears throat> there you go. I don't know. I got nothing, man. You're at the casino as an NFL yeah. football player during a game after you missed the walkthrough, you after know what, you got benched? Mike, maybe you may be on something. Maybe this is the byproduct of the participation trophy and everybody wins something because you're not hungry. Because, well, you know, I want this. Well, you can't have it. In well, I'm going to There you go. In recognition of these stressful times, all McCourt community members are welcome to gather in the third floor of the Commons to take a much-needed break, joining us for mindfulness activities and snacks throughout the day. The school's director of student engagement in an email to students obtained by the Free Press. You're really going to hate the real world. There's, well, you're right, Rico. They're supposed to be the new political leaders, the no, new CEOs. But, David, this is this is the byproduct of the particip participation. Everybody wins. You can have whatever you want, little Johnny. And Mike Hilton said it best. He's their all-world slot yes, corner. He did. And Mike Hilton's a dog. Man, this is the pros. No one's here to baby you anymore. He's on record saying that. Uh. I just I think you got a lot of these young kids. They're not coached anymore. You know who will agree? I, I'll bet you bottom dollar. As many lunches as you, I bet you TJ agrees with me Friday. These college kids aren't coached anymore. They're coddled. Not coached, coddled. Why? You hurt my feelings, MF. I'm transferring. Why do you think the NBA is so watered down right now? Because the AAU mindset has just kept going through college, and now go. it's in the pros. So and Burton thinks he's the chosen one. Burton thinks I went to Alabama. I'm special. I'm the prettiest pony on the ranch. No, you're not. You're a bum. Get the hell out of here. He is a bum. And, and he chose to go is... pull slots. Right, yeah. What do you want me to do with this guy? You're in a punishment. That is in football today.